How can movie screenwriting help teachers create better learning targets? Let's look at some examples. It turns out Kaiser Sose was him all along. He's hiding in the back of the car for the entire interview. There never was an Aaron. And 299 die. So what do all these stories have in common? An element of surprise. Don't you dare call me out for not doing a spoiler alert on those movies because I'm certain the Statue of Limitations have completely passed on those films. I'm looking up when it came out. Interview with... 1994. I bet some of you weren't even born yet and I saw that movie in the theater. And I'm very sorry you weren't born yet because 1994 Brad Pitt was the best Brad Pitt ever. So this is Tristan. What was I talking about? Oh, <laughs> learning targets. Writing engaging lessons is hard enough on its own. So today I'm going to show you my little trick that I use to make learning targets or essential questions a little bit more fun for the students. And we're going to be taking a cue from film and adding just a little element of surprise. Hey, with the box. What was in the box? I told you to stop at 1994 Brad Pitt because 1995 Brad Pitt gets really, really dark. Okay, let's take the statement. Students will identify the conflict in the story between the two main characters. Statements like that, the ones that sort of just tell you what the lesson is about or the point of it, it's sort of like announcing a birthday gift before the person opens it. They're fine, but you're sort of giving away the ending. So here's what we're gonna do instead. We're gonna add the tiniest element of surprise. For example, instead of writing the statement, students will analyze the myth of King Midas. We're going to write a question that challenges assumptions. For example, how can the ability to be able to turn anything into gold become a curse? Let's look at another example. Instead of writing, students will add coins of different values to determine a total. Try this question. Will you have enough money to buy these chips at the store? All right, you get the point. Take your learning target or essential question and turn it into something intriguing for the students. I guarantee they'll get super excited for whatever question you posed at the beginning because they get to spend the entire lesson trying to figure out the answer. And just for a little fun, let's take this very standard second grade learning target and try to rewrite it in the comments below. Identify when and where the story takes place. Now, choose any story that you think an elementary student might be reading and change that learning target to be more engaging for them about the setting and leave it in the comments below. Oh, we didn't even talk about 12 Monkeys. I'm gonna look up one that was me. 1995. See, I told you.